Hey everyone, Jim and Conley with Evolution Power Sports uh, here today to talk about uh, Polaris fuel pump upgrades. And uh, Connolly is one of our mechanical, mechanical engineers and he um, was integral in uh, helping get this to, uh, to the point where we are right now, which is ready to launch. And so with that said, I want to uh, just give a little background on why uh, we, we've done you know, a fuel pump upgrade to this caliber uh, for the Polaris vehicle. So starting in uh, 2016 and, and about through 2020, uh, the Polaris XP Turbo has a pretty rectangular fuel tank. Okay, and the problem with the fuel pickup is that there's no, there's nothing to keep the fuel, you know, by the pickup, right? So the fuel will slosh around in the tank and unport the pickup once you get below like, you know, four gallons of gas. And especially when you're, you know, going through the dunes or going over bumps or, you know, launching the car, you know, like with launch control really hard, all that fuel sloshes to the back of the tank and then the car will misfire because it's it's basically taking a big gulp of air. So the demo that we're gonna do today is, uh, we're gonna show you, we're gonna do two tests. So one is with a, you know, basically a stock, stockish fuel pump setup. Uh, we're gonna put one gallon of fuel in the tank and then I'm gonna take off from here and you'll hear how the car breaks up. And then the second test we're gonna do identically, we're gonna put one gallon of fuel in the tank with our surge tank and we're going to do the exact same test and you'll see the difference with how the car runs. Uh, that's the XPT. Uh, when they released the Pro XP, they did a little bit better job uh, with the fuel tank design. So it was more of a, uh, not so flat of a tank, but deeper and not quite uh, depth wise in the car, but not so deep. Okay, and so that made it better. Uh, and then they also used the big long fuel sock to help um, you know keep fuel going to the pump. But even the 2020 uh, Pro XP had the same issue right because as as you're moving around um you know like like for example we have a racer who's doing ice racing and he's always in you know turns going side to side and when he would get down below a half a tank of gas it would unport and then you know the car would start misfiring and you know and then pretty soon you get a check engine light and then you're you know it's it's not not a great recipe for uh, success uh in 2021 for the Pro XP and Turbo R, they actually did come up with a halfway decent or pretty decent fuel system. Okay, so this has uh, a Venturi uh, style pickup, right? So you got your, your surge tank, and then this gets, uh, the surge tank gets filled from uh, the, the fuel that's being siphoned through the Venturi. Okay, now it's great, except it's a fairly low volume uh, fuel pump, and so, for, you know, for all of the big horsepower kits that we have coming, uh, there's just not enough fuel, okay? Stock turbo, it's it's pretty good. Although, you know, at about 20, 27, 28 pounds, we're just about out of, out of fuel. So what we wanted to do was engineer uh, a replacement system that would give customers the volume of fuel they need for big power stuff, but still be versatile enough, you know, as a, replacement even if you're running uh you know stock stockish tunes so we went through um as you can see we went through a lot of prototypes here so the biggest challenges were you know getting something because the the, the opening to the fuel tank is very small and so the challenge was to get something that we could package all of the different pieces that would need to go in it to make it work Okay, so we, you know, so we've, we've got a 3D printer and uh, we've done a ton of prototyping uh, for it. These are the various renditions, uh, you know, we've got, this is, this is only like, this is like one tenth of the prototypes that we made. So a lot of prototypes. Uh, we put the fuel, uh, the surge tank in so many times that we decided we needed to engineer our own fuel cap tool, um, you know, cause we didn't want to spend the, 
uh, the money on the Polaris one, we figured we'll make our own. And this actually works on all XP turbos and Pro XPs, uh, whereas the factory tool I don't think does. I think they have two tools for it. Again, this is the OEM assembly. This is one of our assemblies. This is like a late prototype. This has actually been the one that we've been testing. What this does, it, it, we we're able to get a 340 liter pump in here, uh, have our own Venturi system, uh, which keeps this surge tank full um, and you know allows you to get down to like that last gallon of fuel before you know you start to have problems with uh, with the car misfiring. These are the the two parts that are really key to it. Uh, this is the surge tank itself and you can see it's kind of a uh, pretty complex injection molded piece. Got our logo on it. Um, you know and, and then the, this is the hanger for the fuel pump. And so those two go in together really nice, sits in there, and then everything else will fit um, inside the way it's supposed to. So this, this fuel pump assembly right here, this is our stage one <laughs> fuel pump system. Okay, this will be good up to like 30 pounds of boost uh, on E85. So there's, there's enough fuel for any of the new Paragon kits, but then we also have, um, we have some uh, stroker, um, you know, big motor packages with our P50 turbo, and that'll be uh, the stage two fuel pump. And that will be, it'll have our own uh, billet fuel hat. Uh, and when we're ready to release that, we'll talk more about it, but that, that'll get you enough fuel for about 400 crank horsepower. And then we'll have one more stage, it'll be the stage three, which would be good to, you know, probably 600 uh, engine horsepower, crank horsepower. So again, this is the culmination of a lot of work. It, it was really a very complex project um, and we're, we're really happy to bring it to a close because uh, this will solve a lot of problems for Polaris customers, especially ones that you know, may not be aware that you know, the reason why their car misfires is because it's out of fuel or that that you know, pickup is being unported.